All right, uh, <clears throat> try that again. <laughs> What's up everybody, welcome back to our unboxing video. It's the second part of this unboxing video. It's an old school collection. What did we say it was estimated at? It was, at the time we bought it, it was about $140,000 PPG. That's a big, big, a big collection. Number, right. Is that the biggest we've done? Uh, Value-wise, yes. Um, but it, as far as pieces go, it, it's not a ton. So, but these, the, yeah. the pieces that are in here um, are yeah. very, wow. we haven't seen them in a long time. We've been through four boxes already. We have four more left. This is going to be box number five total. Um, if you're just watching this one, go watch the other one first. Come back. Or if you're watching this out of order, do what you like. Yeah, I can't. We're not going to tell you how to live your life. You do you. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, you're going to have to. Whoa. What uh, we got here? Is this Freddy Yoda? No, this is Freddy. I know what this is. Is it Freddy? It's Freddy. <laughs> Do you think it's Freddy? Okay. From Mars Attacks? Yep, there he is. Freddy Martian. Okay, so there's no sticker on that, which means what? The sticker fell off. Means we or don't there have, was no sticker. Don't have a sticker. <laughs> which means but it's, a, it's a numbered box, so it, it, it probably should be the right box. Oh, no, it's definitely the right box. Doubles is best. Triples is best. Triples is safest. Oh man. See, now these these are all pristine boxes too. But I think these were some of the more valuable ones. Here's Freddy Count Chocula. Take a look at him. 125 pieces. These were the the first two variants of uh, Freddy Funko. Uh, was Count Chocula and Frankenberry. Number one and two. They still haven't made a pop version of Boo Berry as Freddy, and part of me wonders, why? What's the deal? Why? Why? What's the dealio? Let's do that. Get on that, Funko. I feel like I'm on Christmas morning. This is in a pop kit, at least. Oh. Oh. Oh, Lee. What's that? What's that? This is our first one of 12. What? And it's Super Freddy. What? Super Freddy, one of 12. No way. Metallic colored, um, the regular Super Freddy. God, that box is pristine. It's a one of 12. A one of 12. That's crazy. Hey, now would be a good time to mention, as we mentioned in our in part wow. one of this, that all these pops are going into our product drops on 7 com. Uh, over the next several weeks. Uh, they happen Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Um, we will not sell these to you directly. Please don't ask. Uh, what's that? It's a Freddy Booberry prototype. What? Oh! <laughs> How many of those exist? Uh, I quit. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing! Not many. I mean, holy cow. That's crazy. Holy cow! I'm like, look, I'm I'm schwitzing. That's how excited yeah. I am over that one. We're for cleanse. Whew. Uh, we have Freddy uh, V for Vendetta. Should it be V for Freddetta? V for F for <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Ninety-six pieces. Um, that's one. It's still pretty sought after. Freddy. Is that Rick? The, is that Freddy's the regular Rick? Rick? Yeah. Not the, not the Freddy is toxic. Rick. He's, He's not toxic. toxic. Here, you wanna? Yeah. Play with that one. Oh. I know someone who was looking for this not that long ago. This is the Freddy Wobbler of Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Spider-Man Freddy. And of course, a lot of the, a lot of Freddies from this era, they suffer from the glue being bad. A lot of Funko boxes from it. Yeah. Oh, whoa! It's a twelve. Oh, it's a twelve. It's the chase of it. It's the metallic base. Wow. Twelve pieces. Wow. See, back then the chases just used to have the, the chrome base. And here's the regular Spider-Man. And he's just 96. So even still, Spider-Man stuff always does really well. Like, yeah. I mean, it always holds its value. Wow. That's that's crazy. That is crazy. We've got all kinds of stuff. This, this looks like, whoa. Wait, 
What's that? God. Is that the... Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, so this looks like another prototype of the Freddy Human Torch. That's so cool. What the heck? You didn't tell me this. <laughs> you just said it was cool. You didn't tell me it was epic. Wow, though. Look at that. Ah, this booberry. Give me that. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. All right, which one is this? I don't know. It feels heavy. This is a. Uh, it's another crystal, crystal Freddy. Freddy with the head. With the head. We still have not found the head from box one. Um. Oh. <laughs> okay. What? I have a box labeled uh, three crystal Freddy wobbler heads. Well, there you go. So, we found the heads. Here's the crystal. This is the one that everyone got. That's so cool. Um, I think everyone got this one. That's super clear <laughs> for, how, for how old it is. And, I mean, that's just... Yeah, they, they, they cast these like that. Wow. You know, what wound up happening is there was a collector that was making them by hand. And mm -hmm. then they just got in the game and started doing it. So, there. did they come in the boxes or no? Yes, they did. Okay, so they do. And they were shipped, and there was a lot of um, all right, work. Like if you ever look at like the, they had made crystal punchies from Hawaiian Punch, and the majority uh, of those yeah, were I've seen those. Yeah, they were destroyed in transit. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think we need to open that the box of heads. What's the box, man? What's the box? <laughs> uh, here, this is something that's I think pretty epic. Yes, since we've already teased it. Jeez. Should we tease it again? Wait. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! And that's how it begins. It's it's protected, so that's good. It's an inferior shield, though. Not a shield. Oh, Not a tough shield. yeah. This twelve piece, our second twelve piece. This is the glow in the dark Frankenberry Freddy. Wow. The bidding starts at forty million dollars. And the box is absolutely pristine. Yeah. I mean, that is abs. Ugh. You know, it's funny. It it. it only a few of these pops have been in protectors of any kind, and you, you can always tell an old school collector because old school collectors generally don't use protectors as much as newer collectors who instantly, when we get our stuff, we have to put it in protectors the second you yeah, get it. There was no market for it. They right. used to sell these acrylic ones that were really cheap looking. Um, so, but if you need protectors, go to 7 com and buy our pop shoes. We know somebody. By the way, so... There are three Freddy Protos in here. What? <laughs> First one up, Leatherface oh, Freddy. Man. No. Second one up is the That's... Kiss, the Demon oh. Freddy. <laughs> These are prototypes. This and the third crazy. one is, oh my god, Super Freddy. The Superman Freddy. Wow. wow. <laughs> so we're in a couple of the proto groups on Facebook and they're gonna they're gonna be mad jealous they're gonna plot <laughs> they're gonna plot when they uh, see what we what we're uncovering here plots is a, uh, a Yiddish term <laughs> this is oh my god what is it it's the prototype for Big Fred oh the Freddy Big Boy <laughs> oh oh my god <laughs> wow Wow, I am like... So Jason's going to probably murder me. <laughs> take all these to, to an island. <laughs> wow. So wait, wait, this is this is a box of fun. Yeah, so they're, they used to show up like this, and it was, uh, they put three pops in them. These are from, two, this is from 2012. Yeah, so these were the first um, mystery box for pops. Crazy. Before that, they were still using those green Wait, Mystery Grail wasn't the first mystery box? It wasn't, oh. but we got three cool ones here. Oh, man. First one up is a 48-piece Freddy Winged Monkey. This is insane. Freddy Winged Monkey. Let's, Let's take down the be gentle. Oh, what's the pros in there? I'll just make sure I put these safely over here. <laughs> put them in the prize. <laughs> um, second one up, Freddy Freddy Krueger, 48 pieces. Wow. Well, how does that differ than the than the other one we had? Uh, that was, was the another? wobbler. Oh, it was a Freddy yeah. Freddy wobbler. Okay. That's how it differs. Yes. <laughs> so it's a completely different thing. Got it. And this is a 96 piece Freddy Funko Stormtrooper or a Clone Trooper. That was the 501st. Uh, 
Yes, but that's a 96 piece. There is a one of 12 nice. with blue hair. Nuts. That is uh, Surf's Up Freddy. Yeah. Underrated, yeah. I think. I like it. If you're looking for an entry level Freddy, that's one to get. Um, so we had the Human Torch Proto. This is a 12 piece. Ooh. Human Torch Wobbler. I think that one might glow in the dark or something. Oh no, it's the, the Chase with the metallic base. Man, he really like, he went after some of these. Yeah. Wait, wait, here's another Human Torch. So I guess this is the regular. Yes. 96 pieces. That's the one I have. <laughs> I don't have the, the one of 12. Oh my god. This is the coolest looking Freddy I've ever seen. The, uh, the Wobbler. This is the coolest looking Wobbler I've seen. The Darth Maul. So this is a Darth Maul out of 12 pieces with the chrome base. I don't know if you can see that there. But it looks really cool. Oh, it's the chrome base. I was never willing to, to go after and try and trade for the chrome base. If I got one, that was fine. Uh, these are the Crystal Freddies that don't have the head. That okay. go with the ones with the heads. Got it. We'll save that for its own video. Oh, <laughs> got something to open here. I don't know. Well, here's the other Freddy Darth Maul uh, with the non-chrome base out of 96 pieces. So let's see what this is. I know a lot of the names on this box. What could it be? Yeah, that's it. It's more bubble. No. We got more bubble wrap here. A lot of bubble wrap. This is heavy. This looks like a, uh, a custom. Looks like a custom. It's a really cool custom. An FDO. Is this from? Uh, I think this was from Arizona. I think this was from FDO Arizona. From who's? Wow. Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a close up of this. So you take a look right there. Uh, that's as close as I can get. <laughs> But that's pretty that's cool. That's really cool. So it's it's got like a metallic hair and sort of a rainbow body. Yeah. That's pretty I sweet. I like it. We like it. A lot of work went into that. Yeah. Cool. All right. So that's box number five. Yeah. Um, some really awesome stuff in here that it's going to give me deep thoughts. Man, these two. <laughs> <laughs> these two uh, highlight for me. But God, the one of 12s, the, the Frankenberry. It's pretty incredible. <laughs> My goodness. My goodness, my friends. All right. Let's let's uh, let's do box six. Here we go. Let's see what tricks happen to be in box number six. If I had to guess, I would say there might be some Freddies in here. There's possibly some Freddies in here. This has been a, a very cool collection Actually, so Actually, I'm not seeing any Freddies. What? Cut it. Dump it. <laughs> it's garbage. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is a cool pop. The Carnage with the tendrils. Mm -hmm. The Fall Convention exclusive. Yeah. Which yeah. keeps going up, up, up. Sora. Sora. Guardian form, another NYCC. Western Morty. This is kind of random. Random! I think this was just him buying stuff that he liked, which is awesome. Uh, we have Agnes from Despicable Me. We have Sasuke. And what's cool is that, you know, when you... All these are, are, are real. That's what's the best part about it. <laughs> what? All of them are real. For real. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> that is the best. We have some Ghostbusters vinyl idols. Cool. See, it's weird. So they did the... They did some of them that had the marshmallow, and then uh, they they did uh, Venkman with the Slimers. We have a Shaun of the Dead out of 500 pieces. That was a New York one. I remember there was someone who came up as Shauna of the Dead to the booth that year, uh, and we gave her uh, the entire set for free. <laughs> and we have Ed. Ed. Little Ed. I guess that glows in the dark. It looks like it glows in the dark. Does it not glow in the dark? I don't dark? think it does. Right. I think it's just the regular one. The right. one from New York was the one where he's not a zombie. All right. Uh, this is my Wimpy. favorite character from Popeye, Wimpy. I loved me some Wimpy. He just <laughs> always ate hamburgers. Like, piles and piles of hamburgers. And he'd glad, gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger. He would, yes, he would. Olive oil. Sweet pea. Or, I'm sorry, it was sweet, uh, sweet pea. And the dog's name is Jeep. Right. I know that because it's on the back. <laughs> and here's, here's olive oil. Oh, Popeye! And then here's a regular Wimpy. They did black and white in color. The black and white was the Comic-Con exclusive. It was the what? The Comic-Con exclusive. Oh. 
I think it was burping while he was doing it too, sorry. The regular olive, the regular Popeye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Itchy. Yeah. They fight, they fight. They fight and fight and fight. The itchy and scratchy show. We have more Popeyes. Uh, I don't know how this differs from the other Popeye. We just... It's just the second one. the same to me. Am I crazy? We yes, have, but it is the same. We have a black and white. <laughs> <laughs> you might think this is crazy. We have a couple of random keychains. That's random. Random. We're just trying to figure out, find out. There's, there's, okay, so he was a big Popeye fan. That's, that's what I'm gathering. There's a lot of Popeyes. And who doesn't like... This is a cool box. Mr. Monopoly. Yeah. I like that box. <laughs> like you knew I liked that box too, didn't you? This uh it's itchy or scratchy. What a what a great itchy, wobbler. Itchy, there's itchy. Yes. Scratchy was the key. He also fights and fights and fights and fights and fights. Mo. Mo. With deviled eggs. Hey Homer. Well, let's see, we got another I think it was crazy at home. Shaun of the Dead. That's the one from New York. It was a regular Ed. Regular Ed. Not dead Ed. Uh, oh! That's pretty cool. 300 pieces. Yeah, one of the Hikari the Tiki's. Yeah, I think we... that's one of the ones that holds value. And it looks like he has a mullet. <laughs> oh! Clark Griswold. Boy, that is a cool Five one. Idols. I see a nice little signature on there, huh? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the rest of, in here are the big Hikari's. This is actually, Metaluna Mutant was my favorite that I had, and I I wound up tracking down the whole set. Hardest one to find was the uh, Hot Topping exclusive. Um, Batman? The Hot Topping exclusive, it was like metallic in it, and all the different bat. This is a Comic-Con one, 500 pieces. Yeah, so is this one. Also 500 pieces from Comic-Con. Creature of the Black Lagoon. Ooh, with all the glitter inside it. These were super cool. Yeah. It's, you know, it's a shame Hikari were at such a high price point, because they are very cool. You know, each one is finished differently, and they were just, uh, they were neat. Oh, I like this one. Oh. The Rainbow Turtle. Yeah. That Leonardo. Leonardo, yeah. That was a Toy Tokyo exclusive. Here's a Leonardo, different sort of rainbow. Yeah. Very neat. This looks like a, uh... It's a golden. Yeah, I can't tell who it is. Though. Is it the same? No. It's a good question. I think it's the same. I think we're Leonardo. We're all dealing with Leonardo's here. Oh wait, hold on. This is an artist proof. What? Yeah, it's an artist oh, proof. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> so tell the folks at home about the artist proofs. So artist proofs are it's like one of ones in most cases, and. Um, Basically, it's like the, the ones they send to Funko to look at and just say, oh, here, this is what you got. And, so, um, so it comes with a tag. Instead of saying out of however many pieces, it'll say A, a slash P. P. Mm -hmm. I have a couple sodas that are artist proof. Nice. So they're neat. Really? Yeah. This one's... I like this one. This is my this is my new favorite. <laughs> this is my new favorite till thing. To we open <laughs> box seven. To we so, open box seven. So this was box six. Some cool stuff here. Yeah. Especially this one. As I mentioned, yes, we like that one. <laughs> and the artist proof. We have it. mentioned that. All right, let's go on to box number seven. Mm -hmm. All right, welcome back to the Gordon Lightfoot <laughs> extravaganza, where we unbox all of Gordon Lightfoot stuff. No, this is box number seven, you guys. Have box you not been paying attention? Seven. All right. As in seven bucks a pop. Get it? Clever name. Yeah, I like it. I like the number seven. <laughs> oh, I think we got another big box here. Ooh. More individually this wrapped stuff, stuff. is individually wrapped, which is always a good sign. Here, you should get me a second bleed. Oh, I love this one. This is Leatherface Freddy. The Freddy yeah. Chainsaw Masker, which now it will fit in one of our new size pop shields, by the way. The armors. That was one that wouldn't fit in there because it's too chubby. It's a chubby one. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness you decided to change that. Oh, you got some nice ones. You got a big thing here. All right, but first we have 
another Freddy from, um, God, this was, uh, help me out here. The Ramones. The Ramones Freddy yeah. Ramone. That was a super cool one. I liked it because it had the old logo in the front. That's not a proto, is it? I don't think so. Because if it is, I'm going to pass out. I'm just going <laughs> to pass out, right and here. then you'll have to find a new marketing guy because I'll just be dead. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that, okay? Oh, it's... Yo, oh, oh. No way. This is the greatest thing. Limited to 18 pieces, by the way. How do you know this? They all were. It's all <laughs> so this is a Freddy Wobbler holding a Yoda Pez. Wobbler. And it's, and it's a bank. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> and it tells you, in and case you can never remember the year, it was Fun Days 9. And the Yoda Wobbles, too. Yep. This is great. I don't... Hey. I don't think we're gonna sell this. Yeah, it's gonna go with us everywhere. Yeah, that's, yeah that's... here's the Freddy Funko, the regular Fun uh, Frankenberry, right. Freddy Frankenberry, 125 pieces. pieces. Okay. And so that was so 12 was the chase, and 125 was yeah. The... So that was the very first Funko Freddy Funko character in pop form that they did. Was it really? It was number one. Number two was Camp Chocula. I thought it was Blueberry. Or Boo Blueberry. They never I did a, it was Blueberry. They never did a Freddy Blueberry pop. Oh, I'm thinking of the Glow uh, Blueberry. Yes, the the first chase right, right, right. for uh, for that one. This one is ooh Freddy Flava Flav. Another Flav. cool one. Check out the little. I like that. Got the little mouth there. That's a 48 piece as well. Here. 48 piece. Think about that for a second. <laughs> we got another vegan over here. I'm pretty sure that there are more than 48 people who collect Freddy Funko Wobblers or Pops. Yeah. Got Wobblers in the head. That looks like I'm just looking from the top of the crown. All right, we'll get to it. <laughs> Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. Yeah, there's some big stuff in here. This is exciting. Some Mr. Big stuff. Who do you think you are? Here is the original. We had the 12 piece Freddy Superman metallic. This is the 48 piece Freddy Superman. So they were not, there's not that many available at all. At all. What we got? I don't know. Um, I'm not good at opening these. This what? looks like a book. Fre Freddy Buzz Lightyear. Freddy Buzz. And again, that's that was one of the very first. Uh... I'm trying not to damage anything here, but I'm also not doing a very good job of opening it. Sorry, we'll speed this part up. All right, here you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is the Freddy Buzz, as we were saying, and this one is 125 pieces. This is one of the more highly desirable Freddies. For pop collectors, uh, as far as <laughs> as far as big banks go, or ten, it twenty doesn't inch, it doesn't stand though. Twenty inch wobblers. Um, I've always wanted one of these. <laughs> <laughs> this was the giant Super Freddy. Um, wow! And you can see that it, it was underdog body. Um, but you can see the U was painted over, but it was the Super Freddy. This was, uh... Wow. That's really cool. I forget how many of these were actually made, but uh, it wasn't a lot, I could tell you that much. And these were given away at Fun Days that particular year. And they all sat there. I'm gonna say 2007, 2006, something like that? We actually have one of these, which we displayed at that awesome time. We did, the original Freddy Funko store display. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll unwrap it so everyone can see. Put these expensive things down here. <laughs> right. uh, but these were the original store displays, and they had like little brochures and stuff you could put there, and uh, they would just sit on a shelf. They sold these directly to consumers as well. Um, that's how I met Chuck at Chuck's Comics. Oh, yeah. He had an extra one for sale, and I was like, hey, you live near me. Uh, I would like to purchase that because I was just, you know, an up-and-coming Funko collector, and I thought that would be something awesome to have. And, uh, yeah, so that's how you make lifelong friendships. There you go. Yeah, that's oh. awesome. All right, well, that was actually it for box number seven, so these wobblers took up a lot of space. But, well, but it, it was, it. I mean, look, it was well worth that, man.
Love that Super Freddy. All right, well, we're gonna take a look at box number eight. This is gonna be our last box. And um, I don't know how we can top what we've already done. I, yeah, and we haven't been doing these in any particular order, so no. we don't know what's in box eight, but it'll be, it'll be good. Hey, I can't wait for box eight. It'll be good. <laughs> okay, so we are on to box number eight, last box of the collection. It's the end of the road. I do not own the rights to that music. <laughs> <laughs> nor nor the, should you. Nor the cover version I just performed. <laughs> wow, this really blew up. Here's a link to my SoundCloud. Okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Guys, and for everyone out there watching, take a minute, don't forget to click like, subscribe, like this video, subscribe to our channel, go over to our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts. Make sure you're following them, both on Mystery Grail and Seven Bucks a Pop. Mystery Grail shares the Twitter account with Seven Bucks a Pop. If you like collection unboxing videos, we have probably three more in the works. Yeah, we got we got some good ones coming up. Yeah. While we while we can do them, so, we're gonna do them. Freddy Gemini toys. Fifty pieces. Fifty, and we got a pop shield for this size as well. Isn't that just handy dandy? Mm -hmm. We also have a lot of peanuts all over the floor that well, yeah. someone else is going to clean up. We're not doing it. We're done. Yeah, we are done. <laughs> Alright, uh... Let's take a look at some Mini Freddy's. See what's in that box. It says Mini Freddy's. Can I take a guess? Again, you look at me now. I have not opened this. But I feel like these are the Mini Freddy's I was talking about in the first video that were from that Comic-Con in 2005. Okay. Let's see if you're right. Partially. Oh no! Oh my! You were wrong. Oh oh my goodness! Well, first of all, we saw the Yosemite Sam oh, bobble breeze. We have a Freddy Funko bobble breeze. That's incredible. It's still look, smell it. It smells like the beach. Citrus. I was partially right. So we have uh, we have the Freddy Happy Holidays Freddy. We have a Snowman Freddy. We have Santa Freddy. Santa Freddy. Here's one of the ones from the fun days that year. Uh, it was the Freddy Funko uh, in the El Diablo suit, the mini suit, less than Jake Freddy. This, however, who oh my God, Freddy mini Freddy Pez. Bomber. Pretty sure it's one of twelve. Pretty sure it's what? a one of twelve. Really? Yeah. No Pretty way. yes. Pretty sure this is a one of twelve. This is like ultra rare, never sold, just given out. They were given away. Uh, and this, of course, was the Thank You Freddy from yes. 2018 with the, the tuxedo. For anybody who voted for them for Toy of the Year. Anyone who voted for them. Right. <laughs> Anyone who said they or voted said for them. Or said they them. voted for them. Wow. Even though Funko always, always wins Toy of the Year. They always, for like the past 20 years. They did. Dorbs didn't win out. Uh, do you have the, uh, the knife over there? I do. But I'm going to use it first. This is one of my favorite Freddy Wobbler exclusives from Comic-Con. Can you take a guess at what it is? Uh, I don't know. Dead E Funko. Dead E Funko. Dead E Funko. Dead E. Funko. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> um, that was cool. A '96 cool. piece. He was a late addition. He took the place of something else that didn't come out that year. <laughs> this looks like a uh, what were the ones that computer sitters or what are they called? Yes, they were computer sitters. Is that what they call them? I believe it's what they were called. Oh, okay. I'm sure they were called like something like wacky sitters. I'm really not good at opening this. But... Wow. We're getting there. All right, there you go. These were also given out uh, at Fun Day or uh, Funko Fun Days that year to everybody. Everybody got one. And those are. Yeah, you know the thing is they say when the, over the time that the, the PVC will come out and they uh -huh. sometimes they get sticky. sticky yeah. Don't ever clean them off though. You may feel the need to. Don't do it. Yeah, you're just it. gonna wipe away the pain. Feel the pain. Uh, this is one of the. Uh, I don't remember. It was one of the Freddy uh, Hikaris from the Asian like exclusive. Yeah, like Freddy as Monkey King or something like mm -hmm. that. But 300 pieces. Yeah, these were neat. Not very common. Um, and there, there's some big stuff in here too. Oh boy, going out with a bang. Big stuff. Like some nine inch stuff. Speaking the, of. Oh, Freddy Buzz Lightyear, a 48 piece. 
again, we make uh, pop shields for this size. We do. So you learned something today. And here's something that you're probably going to... Oh, I know everything like. about this one already. <laughs> this was one of the first uh, talking banks of Freddy. I think this was the first one uh, from that year. This is uh, from 2006. I have the shirt that matches this, by the way. And he's holding his own Freddy Bob. He's it's holding, very, yes. It's very meta. It's, uh, it's awesome. And I... It talks. It's, it's a meta. one of the first times Freddy talked in form. It's a meta. And when you put a coin in there, you gotta change the battery. I'm sure that battery's dead after, what, 15 years? Right. It says, if it ain't, if it ain't Funko, it ain't fun! Or something similar to that. Okay. In a high-pitched voice. One of my favorites. I love the Banks. And uh, this was... No, this is the one that replaced one. I said it was Daddy Funko, but it was this one that replaced it. It was, um... Gosh, what was the name of it? I forget what it was, but it was a rocker. But it was basically the monkeys. They repainted the monkeys out uh, body. Uh, and then, uh, and then so that was like Goth Freddy. This is kind of cool. I like, is that, I like uh, the sticker. That sticker looks like just... Oh, the 2004, the Funko yeah. Mart sticker. Uh, so this was the... Uh, not Frank and Freddy. Uh, what was it from the Munsters? Freddy Munster. We're gonna call him Freddy Munster. Freddy Munster. It was Herman Munster's body. But that was a cool one. Definitely. All right, the Funko so Mart was great. It's not a '96 pieces. Yep. The uh, Ronald Freddy Ronald Funko. It's Ronald McDonald. Can we talk about how creepy Ronald McDonald is for a second? Please? Yeah. <laughs> if he walked up to kids and he wasn't associated with McDonald's or any, like. You'd be arrested within minutes, right? You know, Willard Scott, who recently passed away, was one of the original uh, Ronald McDonald's. Was he really? Yes, he was. Okay. <laughs> there you go. See? You come here... And we learned recently, right. someone had said that Grimace... They asked what Grimace was, and he's a giant taste bud. <laughs> who said that? Who said that? Some manager at a uh, McDonald's no. in Canada. All right. I don't believe Grimace that. was originally That's... supposed to be... He was evil, and he stole every stole everyone's milkshakes. Stole That's... everyone... God, there's my Baltimore accent. Ridiculous. He stole it! <laughs> All right, here's Freddy Referee. Mm -hmm. We've got a... Uh, this appears to be a glow-in-the-dark Freddy holding a Funko Supermarket sign. Yep. That was uh, sold through... Uh... When Funko would just sell things. And hack away at these and see. Yes. Uh, real quick, do you know what body the referee is for? Uh, I don't. It's the Gordon's Fisherman. They had a special for Merlin. Lent. Really, you could have given me <laughs> a thousand guesses and I wouldn't have. They had, a, they had a special for Lent that year. You, you bought Gordon's Fisherman, Gordon's Fish products, and you mailed away for that. I do trust Gordon's Fisherman. <laughs> you should. So this is one of the very first 48 Freddies what? from Sparky's, and it was the Freddy Pez. Sparky's. Sparky's, the very first Funko Fun Days. Wow. And that was a Freddy Pez, one of 48. And that was one of the original Freddy Grails. The date on this is 1999. Because that was the, uh, that was the Pez. They came, right. they, they were for that year. Uh, this looks like another custom is pretty cool. Oh my god. Rob Sh Oh my god. What is it? This is like a one of a kind thing and it looks like it's signed by Rob Schwartz and it looks like Rob Schwartz it looks his one of one and it's called The Walking Fred and he drew all over that. This is like this is a piece of art. This dated, is dated 2012. Yeah. So he must have brought it to uh, to Rob Schwartz that year, and he drew all over it. Right, and made so who, custom. who is Rob Schwartz? Rob Schwartz, one of the original Funko artists, designed many of the things that you see here today. Oh yeah. And uh, he actually designed both Funko HQ and the Funko Hollywood store. So he did both the Rob Schwartz and a really fantastic guy. If you watched Making Fun, he was featured in there pretty. So prominently. he's kind of a legend in in, in Funko circles. Yeah. Look. Otto. He designed Otto, and that's what's on me right, right. now. So it's, uh, this is... That's a henna. That just wipes right off. Right? Yep, just <laughs> get that right off there. But this is really super cool. Uh, Rob awesome. Schwartz. This has got brains on it. But that was the casual Freddy, and he just... Wow. Very cool. I don't I don't think that's going to be going anywhere. I don't, I don't think, think so anywhere. either. <laughs> Sorry. All right. All right, we're finishing off with three pieces. Freddy Slee Stack. Very, very... I. Who doesn't love Sleast? And I have the yeah. 20, 24 pieces. I'm a... 24. Uh, this was the Fanatic Collector Series when they started doing... They had a Funko 
you had a Fanatic Fun Club, you had a Funko Fun Club and the F Funko Fanatic Fun Club. There was just a whole bunch of stuff. Um, for the board had its own little separate thing, and this was one of them for it. Wait, I found one more thing. This looks like an incredible, the Incredible Hulk. And it is. The Incredible Hulk. It even says the Incredible Hulk. That's great. Yeah. And then last but not These least. These never had boxes, by the way. Last but not least. Last but not least, the two... Wow, this box is flipping pristine. Yeah. But the 2013 black and white... Uh, nine inch Freddy Funko um, in a absolutely magnificently pristine box. I'd probably put this in an eight because of some of the mm -hmm. scratches in the window, but we get those from time to time. Uh, yeah, nine inch what? boxes are always wrecked usually. 2013. Yeah. So yeah, that's an eight year old uh, eight year old item right there. Uh, wow. Yes. What? What an adventure we had tonight. This has all really been incredible. Um, we'd like to thank the, uh, the seller of this collection for obviously giving us the opportunity to buy it. Um, the, as I said before, this stuff is going to go into our product drops every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7 Um We might make us. We, we might make a special instead of just sneaking it in there but who knows yeah we don't know we, uh, we don't know we, we we're, we're we're trying to digest everything that we just opened we don't know if there's enough time we do <laughs> there's time but it, it's pretty amazing stuff uh most of this stuff hasn't hit the market in a decade or, you know or in like, some cases right. ever right I mean, so. you look at a lot of those one of 12 uh pops mm -hmm. gosh how often do they, they you look on ppg the last sale was like over 180 right. days ago, right. or even more than that, five years or so. It's, it's and crazy. the market's exploded since then. Everybody collects Funko now, so yeah. Um, I, I, you know, we'll try to be fair with our prices, but obviously, we, we also you know need to stay close to what we think the market would be. Yeah. Um, but it, this is this has been incredible. Um, thank you for taking this ride with us. It's been a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you. And uh, again, don't forget to click like, subscribe. All that notification, the notification button on all of our channels, all of it. Do it! Do it for me! Do it for Lee! Do it for yourself! <laughs> Pitter patter! And stay safe. <laughs> stay safe out there. Oh, that's right. That's all for now. So until next time, you stay safe out there. Alright, bye guys. Pitter patter! Get this guy a puppers.